this is Sylvia Saber with OPTV Global Headlines. Starting with the top international stories for the day. United Nations experts has urged U.S. to finally close the site of unrelenting human rights violations, Guantanamo Bay. More than a dozen independent human rights experts voiced outrage that detention center run by the U.S. Navy is a site of unparalleled notoriety and a stain on Washington's stated commitment to the rule of law. The U.S. Secret Service arrested a 72-year-old man in the New York after he allegedly threatened to kill ex-president Donald Trump. Well, Nikki is also accused of threatening to kill Trump as well as 12 unnamed members of the Congress. Arctic Air blast brings wind chill warnings to 12 northern states of USA. Arctic air blasting across the northern tier of the United States has gripped parts of the high plains, the upper Midwest and New England. Pakistan has finalized $63 million education package for Afghan students. Package includes free training with stipends for thousands of Afghan nationals. Pakistan also plans to establish a university campus in Kabul. Motor shell blast kills nine children in Afghanistan's Nangarhar. A junk man was playing with the unexploded motor shell when it went off in the Lalpur district. Foreign ministers from Saudi Arabia and other Middle Eastern states have arrived in Beijing for meetings. China said visits of foreign ministers of Saudi Arabia, Kuwait, Oman and Bahrain along with the Secretary General of the GCC will deepen relations between the two sides. Kazakhstan blames foreign militants for turmoil. Kazakhstan president has said that militants from Central Asia, Afghanistan and the Middle East are behind violence that hit the country last week. A 6.6 magnitude quake has hit off the west coast of Cyprus. There are no immediate reports of casualties or damage. The tremor was felt across Cyprus as far away as Turkey, Israel, Egypt and Lebanon. Up next, we have the national updates. Chief of Army Staff General Kamar Javed Bajwa discussed the matters related to mutual interest, Saudi Arabia's military advisor to Minister of Defense. Army Chief stressed the urgent need to channel humanitarian assistance to Afghanistan. Prime Minister Imran Khan has slammed the Narendra Modi-led Indian government for its continued silence on the hate speech conclave. Prime Minister also called on international community to take action against extremist Modi government in India. The Islamabad High Court has disposed of pleas seeking Prime Minister Imran Khan disqualification. The applicant named Fidaullah moved IHC to declare Imran Khan disqualified over his statement that 16 MNAs sold their votes in the Senate elections. Jamaat Islami Karachi chief has announced that the sit-in and talks will be continued side by side until their demands have been met by the Sindh government. He said J.I. will prefer meaningful dialogues over the controversial local government law. Death row inmate Shahrukh Jatoi is once again shifted to the central jail. The action took after the report of Jatoi enjoying lavish perks in a private hospital for several months in Karachi. Balochistan Chief Minister Mir Abdul Kudus Bazinjo said that details with facts about Ricotec Copper and Gold Mining Project would be disclosed soon. He added that for the first time a detailed briefing about Ricotec Project was conducted for the elected representatives of Balochistan. A delegation of stars belonged to Indian film Chal Mera Put visited the Gurdwara Darbar Sahib Kartarpur in Pakistan. The Indian film stars expressed joy at seeing the corridor project and termed it a means of bringing prosperity about in both the countries. 18 people died and 46 were injured in a rain-related incident in Khyber Pakhtunkhwa. Over 109 houses damaged in different districts of the province. Relief items were distributed among affectees in Char Sadda, Kara, Khyber, Muhammad, Noshera, and Upper Deer. Equal justice under law. We haven't yet lived up to that promise marginalized communities across our nation. I'm Fasil Gill. I saw how the color of your skin. So I went to law school because I wanted to fight to make the law work for all because I wanted to give back. Because black lives matter. Because we need to incarcerate less and educate more. Deserves justice. Up next we have the health updates. 
Pakistani doctor in United States have transplanted a big heart into a human to save his life. Maryland Hospital said that he's doing well three days after the highly experimental surgery. COVID-19 hospitalizations in the United States reached a record high. There were 132,646 people hospitalized with COVID. Delaware, Illinois, Maine, Maryland, Missouri, Ohio, Pennsylvania, Puerto Rico, the U.S. Virgin Islands, Vermont, Virginia, Washington, D.C., and Wisconsin have reported record levels of hospitalized. Up next, we have the updates on science and technology. China has commissioned its first nuclear-powered artificial sun. The China National Nuclear Corporation said that HL2M Tokamak artificial sun uses a powerful magnetic field to fuse hot plasma. It can reach temperatures of over 150 million degrees Celsius. Up next, we have the sports updates. The legendary cricketer Inzamam ul Haq has been appointed for the 7th edition of Peshawar Zilmi in Pakistan Super League. Peshawar Zilmi also released their kit for 7th edition BSL. World number 1 Novik Djokovic has won a stunning victory over the Australian government, overturns the cancellation of the tennis star's visa on COVID-19 health grounds and ending his detention. Up next we have the entertainment updates. South Korean actor Oh Young Soo won the country's first Golden Globe Award for his role in Netflix hit Squid Game. He won Best Supporting Actor in Television for his portrayal of the host or player 001. The Bollywood superstar Sanju Baba is planning to surprise his fans with the release of his three movies in the year 2022. His three movies, Shamshera, KGF2 and Prithvi Raj will hit the screen this year. Pakistani veteran actress Sakina Samu boycotts The Crown because of Humayu Saeed is cast in it. The star expressed that she really thinks Fawad Khan would have done a better job if he had been cast. Up next we have the business updates. The United States dollar shared 24 pesos in the interbank against Pakistani rupee. The dollar traded at Rs 176.44 in the interbank while the dollar is being traded at Rs 178.50 in the open market. Ferrari's new chief executive has unveiled a new organization changes aimed at sharpening its technology focus. New CEO took the role with the task to drive Ferrari into the new era of cleaner, silent and interconnected mobility. The Pakistan stock market stayed bullish as investors became optimistic on the back of the highest ever textile exports in the first half of 2021 till 22. The benchmark index gained 541.98 points or 1.20% to close at 45,887.63 points. Equal justice under law. We haven't yet lived up to that promise marginalized communities across our nation. I'm Fassel Gill. I saw how the color of your skin. So I went to law school because I wanted to fight to make the law work for all. Because I wanted to give back. Because black lives matter. Because we need to incarcerate less and educate more. Deserves justice.